that wasn't that much effort. Cut around it. Um, it's easier than chopping it like I did, oh, last year, I think. Or like November or something. Uh, because it's it's a piece of uh, a tree that fell down. And this is not as dry as I would have hoped. <laughs> but I think this is going to be good for spoon carving. Yeah. You know, this is a part that I don't really show a lot. Um, this is just a hike in. And I look for materials and everything, and that <laughs> usually turns from, well, it's supposed to be like a half an hour, an hour, but usually it goes to being two or three hours. Uh, I'll see what I can do with this. It's pretty light, and the wood is it's pretty soft. We'll see. Uh, I got my wood. Uh, I like to wear gloves when picking stuff up and hiking in. Now I don't have a walking stick with me. But you can see I got uh, a few pieces right here. And I have my pepper spray in my pocket. But usually I have my walking stick and I like to wear gloves with that too. I'm not really sensitive, but after two days in the woods, um, your hands will be full of scratches and everything. I don't mind the dirt, but you know. I think gloves are really important, you know, in bushcraft, just, uh, they might be a bit uncomfortable to work with, but in the end you'll be happy you had them. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a small valley, and I just took this route because, quite frankly, I have never uh, took on this route. And it's muddy and slippery, but it's really nice. And, uh, Again, it was supposed to be thunderstorm today. Maybe later. It's really beautiful here. Whoops. So, just, uh, and I conveniently have some steps here. Really cool. This is how it usually goes for me. I like to take the scenic, the scenic route, you know? Like to see a bit more and I end up walking for three or three hours. It's really nice. Yesterday I got a bit dehydrated, I guess, because uh, I have a massive headache today. But I drank about two liters of water <laughs> to this point. <sighs> so, it's that way this time. Okay guys. See you later. I really don't know what kind of flower that is. I saw it from the distance and I had to come closer, but I still can't. Oh, a little spider. No way, buddy. Wow, it's really beautiful. I wonder how it got here. So I'm logging around a lot of stuff, including logs. Uh, I don't mind. You know, if I get tired, I stop and have a drink of water. Right now it's really beautiful. I uh, haven't been on this side and everything is green. <laughs> really nice. Uh, yeah, what I want to say about logging around a lot of stuff. I don't mind and I like it actually. Uh, and today I'm traveling light. <laughs> Uh, kind of trimmed down on the things I didn't need. Well, not need, but I didn't really use. 
and you know, maybe I'll do a video on what I'm logging around. Hmm. That way, through the arch. So I felt like stopping. Um, not tired, but there's a hazel bush, and I'm gonna look for some uh, dry hazel. But here's the thing: I had a problem with stopping. I don't really like scouting for materials with uh, the backpack on my back, you know, bending over and everything. So I don't really know from who I got this from. I got it from somewhere, um, I guess. So, log can actually sit on the ground, and I don't really like to put my backpack on the ground. That's why I don't really like camping out in the open, you know. I'm going to prove that this can be done one-handed. You know, this is just a cheap carabiner. You know, doesn't really... do anything else. So yeah, how you say, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, yeah, you can, also you don't really have to lift this off. You can just put it on your back and um, be on your way. I think that's a really neat system. Uh, that's why I really like camping out in the forest. You know, because it just gives me a place to hang my backpack, not have it on the ground. And you don't want to have it here on the ground because it's full of deer and dog feces and it's really wet around here. Uh, because of the valley right there, water comes down and around here it's really wet. The log is on the ground but I don't mind that. So, I um, hope you took something from it. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, <clears throat> there's a trail around here somewhere seen it on top but I don't take that way I take the steep way and oh, I'm almost at a 45 degree angle here and I can't really walk uphill when it's that steep and talk so um, why why take this road the woods here are pretty big I could easily walk like uh, 10 kilometers, you know, and not so steep. But I intentionally look for hills and valleys. Um, that way, at the end of the day, I'm physically tired, but I'm mentally recovered, you know? Uh, I'm just noticing this is a deer trail. I don't know if you can tell. But uh, right on there, and it goes up. <laughs> okay. Um, well, why? I'm just gonna take it really slow. You know, like I said, it really relaxes me. And I'm trying to think, and when I get to my campsite, I'm really tired. And I find that really, really good. I don't like to do that for like two, three days in a row, you know, when you sleep outside. But I gotta go home to a bed, you know? And it's fine. I have to slow down my pace or I won't be able to talk and breathe at the same time. Almost there. Deer poo. <laughs> I've been reflecting. What I really need to do is get myself a pair of binoculars. That would be really cool. Well, almost. I don't even know. I can't look at the camera too much.
I wish I could talk, but talking really gets me exhausted. Uh, last push. See you on top. So, we're on top. Um, and like I said, I usually stay away from the trail. But now, I'm on a trail. And, I looked over, and to my surprise, there are uh, about five birch trees. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh, the other side, there, there are only three. These are the next ones that I found. So, um, going on the trail sometimes can be useful, but I don't like to stay on the trail. And four more over there. I don't like to stay on the trail mainly because people tend to look at you funny when you're carrying a few sticks and a log and a big knife. You know, it's not really appreciated. There are not, there are not many hikers. Well, some of them have dogs and um, if I don't know the dogs, you know, I don't trust them. And now where to go there? See a fallen birch tree over there. Yeah. I love birch trees. You know? Uh, I love to carve them birch. I love to play around with the bark. And uh, I like birch, uh, birch sap. It's really nice. And there are, like I said, a lot of birch trees here. And I'm going to get some birch bark. So I took the long way around and I was in, uh, in my sweatshirt, my sweatshirt, you know, and it got really cold really fast, wind started blowing, I was on the ridge and I got like, uh, I don't know, like 15 minutes away and I got my birch bark brought it here to my regular campsite and the wind's not blowing that hard right now but it is pretty nasty and that doesn't really bother me <laughs> I actually did want to put up my tarp but then uh, of course it's not gonna do it now it started uh, thundering thunder and lightning so It's all right. It was a two and a half hour hike. Um, sorry I didn't catch the last part on the ridge, but the wind was really crazy. Now I'm getting my phone wet. So yeah, I guess uh, trash can be useful sometimes. So, uh, I guess you can tell it rained and it's still raining. And at one moment I was really, really worried about my phone. Got really wet. And now it's okay. But as you can see, I got pine all around me. 
And that can only mean one thing. I'm on the other side. Not the dark side. No. I never do that. Uh, I usually don't come here. It's, it's a shorter distance. But people camp out here. And this is full of trash. And when it's nice out, um, it's full of people. So, but this is a good opportunity for me to get some uh, pine resin. You know, I really like pine resin to start fires. And, yeah. Um, I didn't want to go home actually. But that was kind of impossible because um, as I uh, come down from the top of the hill, I can see the road on the right side. And it was flooded. So it doesn't really matter if I got to my car. I could have started and went, but as soon as I got the first uphill part, I don't know. So, uh, got my jacket. Where is it? Right here. That's soaking wet. But I'm dry. So, got no problem. It rained really, really hard. So, I'm just gonna scout the area, look around. And I guess today is just gonna be a scouting day. I got everything in my backpack and drank my water. So now I'm light. <laughs> and I'm good. It's been raining like this for the last half hour and I've been walking around gathering pine resin and I really felt like I deserved a cup of coffee. So um, didn't really want to make a fire, you know. I just uh, used this old tree stump, found two sticks. and got some bark, put it underneath and put some resin on it. That should be enough to boil this cup of... And uh, yeah, the cup's gonna get sooty, but I don't really feel like um, gathering up the fireplace now, you know? So this might come in handy. So it's raining and I left the woods behind. Uh, like I said, usually when it's not raining, this side is full of people. So I just said um, I'll take advantage of that. It's been fun. It's been really fun. Um, I only wish, you know, I didn't put so much sugar in the coffee. <laughs> this time it got really sweet. Uh, but sweet is good. We gotta take this for Sweet is good. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this crazy day. Warm, wind, rain, cold, stop, rain. And I'm at the road. So, have a good one.